Art is a way in which a person of any sort of background or skill level can convey emotions and capture pinpoints in time through the use of paint, clay, and any other sort of material imaginable. It can be made with materials as extravagant as brand name paintbrushes and canvases, or as ordinary as a pen and a sheet of borrowed notebook paper. How people have used materials has changed over time and has been dictated by what is important in the moment to both the artist and to society. In the past, artists have been more focused on rigid lines and capturing reality as they physically see it. But art is more than just perfect shading and realistic proportions. It's about telling stories. Henry Matisse's Bathers with the Turtle is an important painting because it embodies the freedom of creative expression. It represents a new way to share stories and histories and cultures by focusing more on ideas and emotions and less on rules and restrictions. Henry Matisse is one of France's most beloved artists. He was born on December 31st, 1869 in Picardy, France, and after 85 years of life, died on November 3rd, 1954 in Nice, France. His influence has reached all across the world. One article from the New York Times written in 1913 names him the leader of post-impressionists. In the interview, Matisse goes on to describe his process by saying, one cannot do successful work which has much feeling unless one sees the subject very simply. Within Matisse's 1908 oil painting, Bathers with a Turtle, a sense of serenity is apparent. The cool color scheme adds to the idea of the turtle and the bathers being surrounded by water, perhaps at a beach or a lake. The sense of space is a bit confusing upon closer examination, as the figure on the far right appears to be sitting down, but there is no chair to be seen. Each woman gazes at the reptile with a different expression. One reaches towards it in an inviting way, while another stands, hands over face, gawking in awe of the animal. The third looks at it, but appears to be less impressed and more stern than the other two. Turtles are a symbol of eternity. The age and the wisdom of the turtle could be what is causing the distinct reactions from the young women. The figures are all in the nude, and the lack of clothing creates a sense of freedom within the painting. The blues in the background symbolize tranquility and calmness, while the green could be said to represent renewal in youth. When looking at the painting, you can see that a story is being told, but there is no right or wrong interpretation that can be concluded immediately. It raises questions and stimulates thought. Who are these women? Why are they nude? What is the significance of the turtle? Anyone could look at it and create background narratives for each of the women in the painting and come up with ideas as to why Matisse painted it in the first place. A complete and detailed history of the painting was written by Laurie Stein for the St. Louis Art Museum, which is the establishment that currently owns Matisse's Bathers with a Turtle today. After being painted, it was acquired by Carl Ernst Osthaus, who was a close acquaintance with Matisse and the painting was displayed in the Folkwang Museum in Hagen, Germany. After the collector's death, it was moved to a collection in Essen, Germany. Unfortunately, during World War II, the Folkwang Museum was stripped of paintings that the Nazis deemed to be degenerate. The Washington Post reported on the decree and wrote that privately owned pictures offending the Nazi sense of art and exhibited in public museums or galleries may be confiscated without compensation. Bathers with a Turtle was one of such paintings that were taken from the museum and put in storage to later be sold at an auction. A few of the pieces that were taken were shown in a degenerate art gallery as a warning to the public of what art should not look like, 
and was contrasted with a museum full of hand-picked pieces by Hitler that were described by the New York Times as landscapes, very still lives, and genre paintings. The Chicago Tribune wrote of the great success the Degenerate Art Show was, and how it ended up attracting four times as many people than Hitler's museum did. This shows that people may be more interested in viewing so-called strange and out-of-the-box creations than looking at normal and accepted pieces of art. Hitler did not understand the emotional and storytelling purposes of art. He seemed to see it as a move of power and a reclaiming of German culture. This can easily be seen when looking at his own paintings he made. While all of it is pretty to view and technically correct, it appears as though he did not put his heart and soul into it like the great artists such as Matisse and Picasso. In 1939, Bathers with the Turtle was put on auction as a way to fund the regime. Joseph Putlitzer, an American art collector, revealed in an interview that he was convinced by Pierre Matisse, Henry Matisse's son, to buy the painting from the auction. While Joseph did not want to support the Nazis by buying the painting, he stated that he paid $2,400 for it because the real motive for buying was to preserve the art. In 1965, he ended up giving it to the St. Louis Art Museum. By thinking that art can either be right or wrong shows that the Nazi party completely misunderstood the purpose of art as a piece of society. Each painting or sculpture shows emotions. People are attracted to different things that call to their own personal experiences. The purpose of art is to make you question existence and feel moved. Bathers with the Turtle does that very thing. It changes methods of art by focusing on emotions of those within the painting and those who are viewing it from an outside perspective. It allows the viewer to be creative and imagine the story behind it. Painting should not be labeled as degenerate and destroyed just because some person doesn't like it. Because art deserves to be preserved so that those who are touched by it are allowed to experience it. Every story deserves to be told, no matter how it is told.